sorry for the delay from the last video to this one. I know it's been a long hiatus, but I've been pretty busy and I've spent a lot of money <laughs> the last few weeks. Couldn't buy anything. Had to get into save mode. So I made a few purchases. Big lot from uh, John and some a really awesome find from the thrift shop, uh, Salvation Army. Just a couple of random things. But the most important thing that I would like to share is this envelope. It is what I spent a lot of money on. I spent $1,700. It's not anything new. It's actually something I actually have. And it's basically my certificate of ownership. So that means that my Scion TC is completely paid off. I'm done. I bought it. The car is mine. Main goal that I just accomplished Next is to move out to the States so I can explore things, you know. I want to go to the rides, you know, amusement parks. I want to see celebrities. I want to just travel. I love traveling. And um, maybe one day I could be YouTube famous, you know. I, I want to meet people, collaborate and whatever. If, you know, if they'll take me. Buy a house, move to the States, um, maybe eventually find someone to marry, have kids. I don't know. I'm not in that mode, I'm more into, you know, just living the life. Anyways, so that's the main purchase. Uh, now, and I'll show you what I got, pickups wise. Um, first thing is a freebie, uh, I got this from my homeboy Roy. It's uh, the games that came with his PS2 bundle. So there's no cases, but it, it's a Metal Gear Solid game and manual. And also, there was another game in here that I did not expect to see in a while but it is Metal Gear or Call of Duty MW3 so I got Metal Gear 4 and Call of Duty MW3 he just gave it to me because he was leaving he's actually in something called World Teach so he's going to American Samoa for a year to teach uh, kiddies over there stuff I don't know swag or English or whatever so thanks to my homeboy Roy for giving me this I tried playing the beginning it was kind of confusing to me I'm not really a Metal Gear uh, type of player. I'm not really into sneaking. I don't have the patience. I kind of just like running guns blazing type of person But you know whatever to each their own uh, Next is another lot. I picked this up at Salvation Army. It's it was kind of a rather pricey uh, a Purchase, but I had nothing to show for In the weeks past so I uh, picked up three DVDs. They're all blu-ray uh, first is Skyfall then Quantum of Solace and then Star Trek, um, the special edition, so it comes with three discs. I already have Star Trek on DVD, but then this one says it has three hours of special features, so I might as well, you know. I like watching special features, especially when my internet runs out, so, you know, there's something to do. I picked these up for five bucks a piece. They're, I know, it's I could have probably gotten them cheaper, but Salvation Army, you're trying to help a cause. And then I picked these up, these three discs, they're uh, Japanese uh, PS1 discs. They are pretty expensive, I, I think, considering it's just discs, no case, no manuals. But they label them for $3. Uh, first one I got is Biohazard 2. I think this is like Resident Evil 2. It says Leon right there, if you can see it. Um, disc 1, I don't know if it's supposed to have any more than one disc, but it says disc 1 on it. Then I picked up Ur Guys. Ur Guys. I don't know if you can see it. Ur Guys. It says God bless the ring. Easy. Ur Guys. It's a Squaresoft game. Uh, these games look like they haven't really been played or touched. Or actually, maybe they have. Oh, no, man. That's just the plastic. Yeah, there's no real scratches on it. So I don't know if I can play it on my PS1. If I have a Japanese model, maybe I'll try it out. Just give it a shot. And finally, this one's a cool sort of graphics on it. I think it's Crash Bandicoot 2. But you can see Crash and then the Crazy Doctor. It's a pretty cool design on it. And they are NTSCJ. So Japanese, I believe. That's what they uh, mean. But I paid a total of 15 I think $23 for this lot I think big lot from Fantastic John I picked up four N64 games 
First one is Blues Brothers 2000. Duke Nukem 64. Zero Hour. A lot of stickers. I Katana. Stickers though. And I don't know if this is legit or not, but it's two toned gray and gold Pokemon Stadium 2. Not sure if it's the legit one, but I picked this up four for a dollar. Two PS1 games. First is Final Fantasy 8. It is complete, but it is the greatest hits edition with manuals and four discs, and Final Fantasy 9, complete as well. Picked these up, $3 a piece. Then I picked up a whole big PS2 lot. Uh, all of these are complete except for one of them. But we got Maximo, Ghost to Glory, Greatest Hits Edition, complete. Oni, complete. Sly Cooper, complete. Sly 2, complete. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, not the substance, subsistence edition, which I wish it could be. Call of Duty Big Red 1, I'm a big Call of Duty fan. This used to be my favorite game back in the day, playing Metal Gear, or Medal of Honor Rising Sun. I just love this game. Um, it was just very fun to play. Especially in the beginning. The opening of uh, battle. Greatest Assist Edition Resident Evil 4 complete. Let me double check. Yeah, complete. Used to play these games back in the day. Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Ratchet Deadlocked. Those are both complete. Crash Twin Sanity. Tekken 4, I just got it because maybe I'd like to play it again. This is the one that's missing the uh, case and manual, but it's Street Fighter uh, Anniversary Collection. It's got some markings on it, which sucks. And uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. These are the more valuable uh, games that I picked up. And finally, Warriors Orachi 2 complete there was uh, uh, because uh, Fantastic John was selling a whole lot of PS2 games he's just trying to make some space and whatever there was a game that I was eyeing and I was hoping to get it was uh, it's called Haunting Ground it's very valuable um, but apparently Matt you had beat me to it damn you um, uh, Fantastic John didn't even know it was worth anything because he said he got it for like two dollars or something But that was the main game that I was eyeing. I had, I had an eye on something else, but uh, I didn't have the money at the time when John was trying to sell it because I didn't get paid yet So I had to wait till today Because he asked me last week and then he met up with Matt at like Salvation Army or whatever And then he was like, oh, I got some games if you're interested in He took it Sadly Anyways, I picked this up lot, this whole lot up for a dollar a piece. <sighs> Anyways, back to some more happy news. Just today, I picked up this lot. It's a Super NES controller and two Wii games for a total of ten dollars, and it's a pretty awesome pickup. So I found the N64 or uh, Super Nintendo controller um, just lying around in a bunch of. Uh, messed up cables and everything was all tied up and like I had to wheel and deal this cord out from the tangledness but I got this it, I think it's basically free considering he charges uh, games five dollars a piece it was the big guy again but this one you can understand why I picked it up for five bucks a piece first off is Super Mario Galaxy 2 it is complete uh, there is no Nintendo points though which kind of sucks and the game itself, pretty, it just kind of dirty but no scratches. So I thought, awesome. This is the one I have my eye on first. Whoa. 
It's a beautiful. <laughs> this one is just a complete surprise to me. It was there. It's Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Now this is like, by itself, Loose is an awesome game, but it's completely sealed. Factory sealed, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I can't open it. And I, uh, I met up with John to buy these PS2 games, and he saw this, and like, you know, he hated me. And I, I, I had him confirm whether or not this is a legit seal, and he said it's like GameStop sealed. <laughs> but it is, it has the intercross, the cross sort of uh, sealing rather than the, the wrap heat seal. So, this bad boy pays off for everything, I believe. So I got lucky. I got lucky with this. I would have been even more luckier if I got the haunting grounds, but oh well, things happen. Oh, I also picked this up. It's called a Rastaclat. Clat. That's like a bracelet. It's a um, like a Rastafarian type. It's a uh, pretty legit. Uh, nowadays, these things go normally for like fifteen online. I don't know if that includes shipping, but I found it. It was just lying on the ground at work. Picked it up. Give it a little, washed it a little bit, and now I got it for free. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's my pickups. Uh, I did watch Guardians of the Galaxy, which you should watch. It's an awesome, awesome movie. What I love about it is the soundtrack. The soundtrack just is awesome. It, it helps me open up my mind to songs I've never heard before. Of course, I've heard some of the artists, 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 but not the songs. So some of my favorite songs from um, Guardians of the Galaxy is first, the opening scene. The 10cc, I'm not in love. That's awesome, I love that. It's, I just love the beat, it's mellow. It's just, in, it's entrancing. Trance, it puts me in a trance. Uh, next song I like is David Bowie's Moon Age Daydream. Of course, Blue, uh, Blue Suede, the uh, Hooked on a Feeling, is pretty awesome as well. And so that just got me thinking, uh, what other movies did I like that featured songs that just get stuck in my head? Five, uh, five movies and songs that I really like. So in no particular order, here they are. It's the wonder of nature, baby! for watching I am so close to reaching 400 subscribers that's a pretty awesome achievement for me I'll probably have a, a contest once I get really close to 400 and uh, thanks for watching again guys it's getting harder and harder to find things especially at a cheap price I did pretty well this week hopefully next week will be better because I don't have to worry about my uh, car payments now the money is just coming in steadily so I can actually go out and search and hunt and whatever but uh, thanks for watching guys this might have run a little long but 
hopefully I've narrowed it down to a more manageable watching experience. And I hope you enjoyed the music. Once again, peace. Signing off.